Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you some alternative to T-test today. It, uh, it's called bootstrapping. T-test here. Okay, that's wrong. So, in bootstrapping is uh, sampling a, a sample with, rep with replacement. That is bootstrapping. And now, I'm going to use bootstrapping to do some T-test. Okay, and let's do it. First, why do we do this? So, th number one, t-test has assumptions involved. You must be careful. And number two, while in bootstrap, you just do bootstrapping and just don't assume anything. <laughs> you know? So, here. So, I'm going to use bootstrap. Okay? And you can you can see here that uh, in bootstrapping, I, the idea of bootstrapping is that you just need to randomly... Uh, resample a sample and get some statistics out of it so it's very intuitive okay it's very intuitive whereas in t-test you have to go to here uh, you have to check on some what you call this parameters or you have to check on maybe you violate something the variance may be equal or not whatever is that and you have to have this table and check it out and all sort of stuff okay but in python it's just just easy but but it's counter it's really intuitive but for an average guy who wants to do to compare two means okay it's much possible that uh, that person should uh, visualize it that's what i mean so if you visualize it you will understand it and you know that it works that is the goal okay so let's do some bootstrapping as an alternative to this t test and we're going to do the difference between two means okay so first in this code here i'm just going to import some uh, libraries in python and also the data set we're going to use the iris data set so here in this chunk of code i use iris data set and load it load it next is the in this line you can see here that uh, I just took in and list down the keys of that iris data set it's a dictionary okay so we're interested in data and the feature names also and of course the target names this data set is about the different uh, petals of plants this is usually used in uh, k-means uh, classification okay it's classification k nearest neighbor classification in machine learning and all sorts of stuff but we're going to be interested in one of its feature primarily the sepal length cm okay this uh, do this data set has three types of flowers on it one is a setosa the other one is a versicolor and one is virginica Primarily, Citosa is a target when it, it is zero here, it's indicated, and Versicolor is one in the target, and Virginica is two, okay? For example, if the tar this, this row here indicates that this is the characteristic of one Citosa plant, okay? So what I'm just saying is that I'm going to check the parameters of this sepal, late, sepal length okay and compare the three okay as soon as you finish uh, getting the data set we're just now going to do the null hypothesis okay so the null hypothesis states that there is no difference between the sepal width of versicolor target and to that of virginica okay so i just obtain the portion of the data set we're in Two columns there is the sepal length and the target okay and in this graph if you will run this code you can see here that the average of the sepal length okay sepal uh, sepal sepal width okay sepal length actually this is sepal length sepal length the average of the sepal length for the versicolor is this one and for the Virginica is this one, okay? So you can see clearly that on average, okay, the sepal length of Virginica is larger than the target, okay? This is, why is it? I always put it with its length. Whatever, okay? So here in this code, I just 
put it in a separate data set okay data frame okay I and I divide it and see, see it here okay if you want to check if you want to check out what is inside here sepal versicle <coughs> okay let's do some head four okay it's just the this is the item so this is the index okay the it's usually run from 50 up to 99 okay and the virginica usually runs from 100 to 149 okay because the data set the length of the data set here okay if, if you're going to check what is the shape of this data set okay the total rows is 150 and there's five features including the target okay so that is what is inside now we do some t-test this is an independent t-test wherein this is not paired okay so it's just a normal t-test and we'll just set it as uh, equal variance is true okay when we compare the mean of the sepal virginica and the sepal versicolor okay we get the p-value of 1.72 raised to the negative 0 0.7 so that's uh, very very small it's 0 0.000 something okay and if you divide it by 2 means it's 8.64 to the negative 8 this p-value is uh, composed of the whole p-value meaning there is a uh, leftmost tail plus the rightmost tail while the 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 directional okay the directional difference is just this one what basically this means is that those two means are statistic statistically different okay so it means that this is the statistically dif higher or different from the mean of this one this versicolor okay virginica has generally greater sepal length compared to uh, versicolor okay petals now if we do bootstrapping okay let's see now let's check it out so i'm going to this one is a function okay which will return the mean okay by doing some bootstrapping then it will return the mean okay so first of all if i have this data here i'm going to input okay then it will then get the shape or the size and reshape it again this is needed because the np the numpy random choices needs needs it to be only one dimensional okay then in this one this line here okay this is where replacement happened this is where bootstrapping happened okay it re generates a new sample and then it uh, the new sample contains the same value but some of them are just being repeated okay and then it, we took the average and spit it out okay this function on the other hand is just to plot it okay we plot the box plot between uh, the difference between two sepal length okay data one can be the virginica and data two can be the versicolor okay and this one is the main boot data means to say that it runs it runs this bootstrap okay two thousand times okay it's just randomly bootstrap randomly uh, generating new samples and then it took the mean and then record the mean in this element in this list called difference okay afterwards it will show the uh, the vertical line okay for the 0, 0 0.0 because this is needed we go, this will be the one who discriminates okay later on and then you can see here it prints the minimum and the maximum value okay okay now let's do some bootstrapping first again we're going to run this code as we can see here sepal virginica and sepal versicolor so sepal virginica is greater than sepal vir versicolor the average mean so we estimate that the the difference is just positive okay in this case okay the difference is correct it's positive and the difference is statistically different i mean significant 
okay because you cannot see any zero here okay <coughs> excuse me you cannot see any zero amount here the zero line is here okay it means to say that there is no chance that the difference between the two mean is zero or equal okay it usually is versicolor is higher I, virginica is higher than versicolor okay that's why the difference between the means is always positive even though you do bootstrapping and resample the data okay and take a look at this it would if we take the probability of the difference is equal to zero it means there's no difference and if it's less than zero meaning that uh, meaning that there is a chance that virginica i versicolor is the mean is higher than virginica okay means this is negative there is no chance that's why it's zero the probability of having the mean which is equal to the difference is zero or in reverse is just zero which indicates about which is equal to this one because this one is almost equal to zero it's very very small this one statistics by the way if you do if you do some bootstrap usually it is directional okay it means that it's one-sided okay so so if you indicate here that the p-value is 1.72 to the negative 7 we need to divide it by 2 okay so let it just technically this one should be equal to this okay if you take the mean the difference okay so this one is just a verification the bootstrap verification that these two means are different okay so you can see we can do bootstrap and the p-value is the same so let's let's do it again to make it clear okay now what if we add addition 0.5 centimeter okay to sepal versicolor okay and let's plot it here if i'm going to add it here still sepal virginica is quite higher at 6.5 than versicolor which is the mean is somewhat lesser than 6.5 okay but is it statistically significant if going to add this so it means that we increase this one we increase this one 0.5 above okay so if we, we run a t-test we can see here that the p-value is 0.1924 okay which means that they that there is no difference between the mean so the, the the mean of this one and this one is statistically the same you cannot separate the two you cannot uh, d discriminate between the two if we do a bootstrapping okay take note about this so the zero is here it means to say that the probability that there's no difference is about here okay and the probability that the uh, sepal versicolor is higher than sepal virginica is this one here okay because the probability that sepal virginica is higher the mean is higher than this one uh, versicolor uh, pertains to this uh, this output here from zero to right from zero to left it pertains that sepal versicolor plus five is greater than sepal virginica so if we take the number of points here and divide it by the total number of points we get here we do it here that the probability is 0 0.0935 okay which is almost equal to this one 0 0.0962 that is the link okay that is the link between bootstrap and t-test again let's do another one it's this one is somewhat murky i call it murky borderline because uh, if we add 0.4 here okay we add again so this one we increase it by night 0.4 not 0.5 here this is somewhat the same right but is it statistically different so again we, we make a t-test and a t-test shows that yes it is still less than 0 0.05 okay and uh, and uh, the the probability with directional okay 
is 0 0.015 so it is now statistically different different okay they are still different but what about the bootstrap if we do the bootstrap here as you can see now you see it the bootstrap also shows that still it is statistically okay different 0 0.01 is less than 0 0.05 okay so here it's zero here you can see it here if we sum it up and add up, add up it again here you can see that it's 0 0.011 okay so that you can see the link between bootstrapping and t-test okay so in t-test you can see directly the result no problem you just put it here and you use this command and you can see the t-test here and you can say with confidence that the two is not statistically is statistically different or not statistically different whatever the result you can say it loud and clear but the intuition is here okay if you want to verify it use bootstrapping okay because uh, there in bootstrapping you don't really assume just uh, make sure that uh, you done your sampling properly that's it you know you do random sampling that's just the requirements and the bootstrap will do its uh, thing okay so that's how th that's about in this video okay hope you like this please click the subscribe button if you think this is informative and please do try this one okay the link the code the link to the code is in the description below okay you can download it and look at it okay and have some fun with it okay so okay thank you for watching see you in my next video bye